Hello, and welcome to our video. Today we are going to be showing you how to make homemade granola, which is a pretty interesting thing because I didn't even know you could make granola at home. And our cat wants to be in on it too, so you'll get to hear, listen to his beautiful voice. So the first step we're going to do is... Combine our dry ingredients. So the first thing that we need is two cups of rolled oats. Um, we need half a cup of the almonds. And any nut would work for that. a cup of your coconut okay. is coconut usually in granola if it's granola with coconut mm. all right and then you're gonna do two rough teaspoons so just gonna use a spoon of that pumpkin spice mix And then just a sprinkle of salt to bring the flavors out. Okay. And then a little scoop of the chia seeds, which will probably be about a tablespoon's worth and then a little bit of the sesame seed as well. Ch-ch-ch-chia. Will these grow into grass if I plant them? Not that I know of. Mm. All right. Okay. And go ahead and mix that together. And once that's mixed well, go ahead and turn on the oven to preheat to 300 degrees. 300. And then in that little, that little measuring cup, you're going to combine your wet ingredients. So you've got a quarter cup of honey in there. Okay. To that, you are going to add two tablespoons of peanut butter. Use this. And a tablespoon. Tablespoon. And you can use any nut butter that you want, cashew butter, almond butter, peanut butter, and also you could use maple syrup in place of the honey as well. So plenty of options there. And then, let me get you a clean spoon. Mm. You're gonna also need two tablespoons of coconut oil. Mm. 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 Two tablespoons of coconut. Now I got peanut butter on my hands. This stuff always is so cool to me. Coconut oil. Oil from fresh coconuts, maybe. All right, now mix all of the wet ingredients together. Okay. And then I bet you can guess what the next step is. Oh, I need to wash my hands. You're going to mix it together with your hands? No. <laughs> of course not. What do you think I am? A barbarian? A barbarian? Baboon. Remember, if you see any baboons, look out. They might try to steal your granola. Could happen. Just saying. Random Nathanisms. Alright, so now you are going to combine 
your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. Oh boy. And don't use your hands, unless you want to. That's, that's a personal preference thing, I guess. Also, you can add fruit to this as well, dried fruit, like mm. dried cranberries or golden raisins, something like that. But you wouldn't add that at this step because we're going to bake it. So if you add it in now, it would just get burnt. So if you are going to add dried fruit to your granola, you'll add that in after you take it out of the oven. How does it look? Looks good to me. It looks good. Yeah. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and take that over to our prepared baking sheet. You'll wanna make sure that you have some parchment paper on here and you want to put it together. You don't wanna spread it out. Now you tell me. Okay. Now, pat it down to about one inch thickness. Nice, nice. Okay, now that is going to get put in the oven for 15 minutes, and then we're going to turn it and then bake it for an additional 15 minutes. Wonderful! See you in 15 minutes. Welcome back. So we are going to now check on the granola. It's been in there an additional maybe 17 minutes so the whole cook time was like 27 minutes and it looks pretty good okay now you're gonna want to leave it and let it oh. cool oops it needs to cool for about an hour before we ah. scrape it together so it can harden up and get nice and crunchy cool hello welcome back and it has been approximately an hour and 14 minutes, so a little bit too long, but it tastes pretty good and it's sufficiently dried now. So we are going to break it apart and it's breaking apart in nice, nice, nice big chunks. Clumps. Yeah, that's why you want to let it sit so that it makes those clumps like that. And then we'll just store that in an airtight container and use that throughout the week. Mm -hmm.